Hi and welcome. This is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com, author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements, as well as cool tricks and hot tips for Adobe Premiere Elements. Now, this is a bonus special effect. It's not in the book. I just want to show it to you and share it with my friends here at MoviePicks.com. Uh, what we're trying to create is something you see in a lot of action movies today, especially movies that are about the military or superheroes or spy movies. And it's what I call the satellite view or the drone view. Let me show you an example of what that looks like here on the screen. I'm just going to reset my play button here to the beginning. We'll play it through. And there you see we have a couple of elements at work here. If we go back to the beginning, we see it's totally pixelated out. Now that's intentional. That's not a mistake. I did that on purpose because that's part of the effect. And let me just go into a spot here where it's a little clearer. You see what we have is our drone footage, which kind of has been, uh, they had some effects applied to it so that it looks a little more like it was shot with night vision. We also have an overlay here, this white overlay, this graphic, and we've got some text on here too. And as we play it through, the movie intentionally distorts in a couple places as if there's some sort of digital interference with it. Let's look at how to create that simple effect. We'll jump back over here to Premiere Elements. I have a couple of pieces here in Project Assets. One is some footage I shot with my little toy drone. We'll drag that down to Video Track 1. And you see when it's unaffected, not terribly exciting. It's just sort of shot from a couple hundred feet up. There we go. And then I have a graphic, and this graphic is what I call my satellite overlay. This is a free download from moviepix.com. Just go to our main page and type into the search box satellite overlay. And when I drag that down to video track two, you see that it lays this sort of white graphic over the video. I'm going to extend that so that they're the same length. I'm working in high definition, so the numbers I'm going to give you as we work here are going to apply to high definition. And now finally, I want to add my title, the text that's going to describe where the video was shot. And I'm just going to go up to text here at the top of the screen, select new text. Default text is going to drop it on video track three. I'll position it and stretch it all the way out so it's the same length as my movie. And then here in the title adjustments area, I'm going to type in my custom text. It's going to say, I don't know, Ice Station Zebra, 0400 hours, something very military sounding. And I'm going to select all of that text by Control A or Command A. And then for the font, I'm going to select, and this is, again, I'm going to be working with whatever is default on the computer now. There are fonts that would be much better for this that would look a little more high tech. But among the basic fonts, this Lucinda typewriter is going to work just fine for us. And shrink it down just a little bit. And then I'm going to take the Move tool here and position it so that it's right down in the lower left corner of the overlay. Now you may not be able to see that very well because we've got a white background uh, here. We're on top of snow, but all of that is going to change in just a moment. So those are the three elements we're going to use to create our effect. Now I want my footage here to look a little more interesting than it is on a video track one. So I'm going to select that footage. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over to Applied Effects, go to Motion, and I'm going to set it to a scale of 90%. I want it to be inset inside there. So I've got now a black frame around my video. And then we can apply some effects to it. Now, in order to get that kind of like a night vision look, I go down to the effects panel and there's a really cool effect here that is called extract. And extract is, I can't think of any other use you'd use for it except to get sort of a night vision look. We'll drag that onto my clip. And you see it kind of turns things inside out. Well, I'm going to uh, then set the levels here for a black input. I'm going to set about 50. And then for the white input, uh, about 200. And softness will go to 95. Now again, your uh, mileage may vary. Feel free to play around with these numbers. It just happens to fit. My footage is mostly snow and trees. And so this kind of brings it out and makes it look a little more surreal. Now on top of that, I'm also going to apply a channel mix effect. Type in in the search box, channel mix. And you see the channel mixer is under advanced adjustments. We'll drag that onto the clip. And for the channel mix, you see it gives me kind of a red glow. Maybe you want that. That's fine. Again, this is to get the kind of greenish glow I had. I'm going to set all these for dead center, which is going to pretty much make the video black. <laughs> and then I'm going to apply 
uh, a couple settings to a couple of these. So for instance, under red green, I'm going to type negative 160. And then under green blue, set that for about negative 45. And then finally, and this one should bring it out here, we'll go to green green and we'll set that to about 100. There we go. And, you know, I may enhance that a little bit. Let's bring that up just a little bit more. And now we've got a kind of cool night vision look to our video. On top of that, I want to add a mosaic look because I want to make this look kind of low resolution. So I'm going to go down to the effects again. And this time I'm going to go for the mosaic effect. Drag that onto my clip. And we're going to set horizontal blocks to about 1000. And we'll set our vertical blocks to about, mm, say, 250. Now we've got a video that's kind of broken up into blocks by the mosaic. And so it looks a little bit low resolution. We want it to look that way because it's supposed to look like slow scan video, video that's been sent down from the satellite. And we've got kind of a surrealistic look to it. I'm also going to apply that same mosaic effect here to the overlay. There we go. And I'm going to apply the same settings, 1000. Vertical blocks, 250. And finally, also to the title itself. And I can do that simply by copying it over here from the overlay. I'm just going to right click and select copy. And then when I select the title and right click, paste effects and adjustments. And it's going to paste that same mosaic effect then onto the text. And so now what we see is kind of like those uh, interlacing lines going through our video, looking pretty good. We've taken what was a very realistic video shot from a drone cam and we've broken it up into kind of electronic looking elements to give it that high tech look. And as you can see, as I scrub through here, looking pretty cool right now, but we want to enhance it even more. And that's what we're going to do in part two of this tutorial, where we're going to add some animated effects to kind of break it up digitally and make it look even cooler. That's in part two of this satellite spy effect here that we're creating. Hope you'll be back for that.